Hi guys! Welcome sa Engie Nerd Math Channel. Sa video na to ay ituturo ko sa inyo ang addition and subtraction of algebraic expressions. So kung gusto nyo itong matutunan, just keep on watching. So ang main rule kapag mag-a-add o magsusubtract tayo ng algebraic expressions, ang makokombine lang natin ay ang mga algebraic expressions or terms na similar. So pag sinabing similar terms, dapat totally parehong-pareho yung literal coefficients nila. So kung merong at least one, let's say variable or exponent na hindi nagkapareho dun sa dalawang terms, automatic hindi sila similar at hindi na rin sila ma-add o masusubtract. And then mahalaga na kapag mag-a-add o masusubtract tayo ng algebraic expressions, alam na natin yung operations ng integers. Particularly nga yung mag-add at mag-subtract nito. Kasi ma-encounter natin yung mga signed numerical coefficients ng algebraic terms. And then kapag magko-combine at mag-add tayo ng algebraic terms, i-consider lang muna natin yung numerical coefficient nila. And then kapag na-combine na natin yung numerical coefficient nila ng similar terms, tsaka lang natin doon i-affix yung literal coefficients nila. So to illustrate this, let's have some example. So, for the first example, we have 4x plus 6y minus z minus 3x minus 7y minus 3z. So, the first step, i-identify natin kung ano yung mga similar terms. So, sa 4x, meron siyang kasimilar terms na negative 3x. So, mark natin. Ibig sabihin, yun yung i-combine natin kasi similar terms sila. How about sa positive 6y? So, sa positive 6y, meron siyang... Uh, similar term na negative 7y. So, i-combine natin sila. And then, sa negative z, meron siyang similar term na negative 3z. So, ngayon identify na natin yung mga similar terms, i-combine na natin sila. So, dun sa 4x saka negative 3x, so we have 4x minus 3x. So, sabi ko nga, Huwag natin pansinin muna yung literal coefficient nila, yung variable, yung numerical coefficient lang nila. So, we have 4 minus 3. So, we have 1. And then, tsaka natin ilagay dun sa final answer yung variable. So, we have 1x. Okay? But since alam natin na hindi na natin sinasulat yung 1, kapag ang numerical coefficient ng, ng algebraic term ay 1. So, x na lang siya. Automatic 1x yan. And then tayo sa 6y tsaka negative 7y. So, suppose walang variable. So, we have positive 6 minus 7. Negative 1. And then tsaka natin ilagay yung variable na y. Again, negative 1 or we have coefficient, numerical coefficient of 1. So, dapat invisible yon sa algebra. So, iwan lang natin yung negative sign niya. So, negative y. Lastly, din sa negative z minus 3z, so parang negative 1 minus 3, we have negative 4. And then, tsaka natin ilagay yung variable na z. So, therefore, ang final answer natin ay x minus y minus 4z. Okay? Let's have the next example. Next, we have 4x squared y minus 6xy squared plus 7 capital X squared Y minus X squared capital Y. So, the first step, identify natin yung similar terms. So, dun sa 4X squared Y, hanapin natin yung similar sa kanya. Ito, hindi. Kasi yung X, walang exponent dito na 2. Dito, hindi rin kasi yung X ay capital letter. This time, magkaiba sila ng Y. Dito, yung capital letter Y ang ginamit. Dito, small lang, ba? So, wala siyang kasimilar terms. How about itong negative 6xy squared? So, sa x, wala din dito kasi small letter yung ginamit. Tsaka dito may exponent na to eh. Dito sa negative x squared y, wala rin kasi may, may exponent ito na 2. Yung 6xy squared wala. So, wala siyang kasimilar terms. Then dito, sa positive 7 capital x squared y. So, automatic dito nang tayo titingin sa dulo. Which is, hindi sila similar terms. So, therefore, wala rin ka-similar terms to. Lastly, automatic, wala tong similar terms. Kasi na-compare na natin to sa mga naunang terms, di ba? So, therefore, wala silang similar terms. So, wala tayong ma-add o masusubtract. 
So therefore, ito na yung answer natin. Hindi natin gagalawin. Okay? So next, we have the third example. 4x cube y plus 9x cube y plus 5ab minus 11ab. So identify natin yung similar terms. So sa 4x cube y, Mm, ito, similar terms niya kasi para sa lang may x cube y. Okay, kukombine natin yung mamaya. And then itong positive 5ab minus 11ab. So, similar terms sila kasi para sa lang may literal coefficient na ab. And then, combine na natin. So, we have 4x cube y plus 9x cube y. Suppose wala silang literal coefficient. So, we just have 4 plus 9 is 13. And tsaka natin ilalagay yung literal coefficient na x cube y. And for 5ab minus 11ab, so we have 5 minus 11 is negative 6. And then tsaka natin i-affix yung ab. Okay, therefore our answer is 13x cube y minus 6ab. Okay, next example. So this time naka in order na sila. Nakatapat-tapat na yung mga similar terms, right? So, we have 10A plus 15B minus 8C plus 3A plus 4B plus 2C. Kasi ito yung isang way para madali nating makombine yung algebraic terms. Itatapat mo na sila, i-align mo na yung mga similar terms. So, for example, this. So, kung naka-align na sila, ipaperform mo na lang yung operation. So, we have 10A plus 3A. Add lang natin. So, we have 13A. Positive 15B plus positive 4B. So, add lang. So, we have 19B. And then, negative 8C plus positive 2C. So, parang negative 8 plus 2, right? We have negative 6C. So, therefore, our final answer is 13A plus 19B minus 6C. Okay? Another example. This time, we have 4X squared plus XY minus Quantity 3x squared minus 2xy plus y. So, napansin nyo, this time meron tayong parenthesis or meron tayong quantity. Ngayon, di ba sabi natin kapag nag-operate tayo, ina-apply natin yung PEMDAS. So, therefore, kung meron tayong nakitang parenthesis, i-eliminate natin yon. So, since meron tayong parenthesis or grouping, dapat mawala mo na yung parenthesis. Paano natin gagawin yon? Napansin nyo, meron siyang negative sa unahan, yung parenthesis it just means di ba sa algebra, meron tayong invisible 1 so therefore, yung quantity na to ibig sabihin, naka times yan sa negative 1 so it is the same as negative 1 times 3x squared minus 2xy plus y and then apply natin yung uh, distributive property, natutunan natin sa property of real number yung, yung a B plus C is equal to AB plus AC. So, parang i-distribute natin. So, ganun din dito. Distribute natin yung negative 1 to each term. So, we have negative 1 times 3x squared is negative 3x squared. Negative 1 times negative 2xy is positive 2xy. Then, negative 1 times y is negative y. So, therefore, wala na tayong parenthesis. So, pwede na nating i-add yung unang terms na 4x squared plus xy. Okay, proceed na tayo sa, sa next step. Identify natin yung mga similar terms. So, sa 4x squared, ang similar terms sa kanya ay itong negative 3x squared. Sa positive xy, similar sa kanya itong positive 2xy. And then, sa negative y, wala na siyang pair. So, add na natin. So, we have 4x squared minus 3x squared. So, 4 minus 3 is just 1, right? Or therefore, x squared na lang. Then, positive xy plus 2xy is, 1 plus 2 is 3. So, we have plus 3xy. And then, yung negative y. So, therefore, our final answer is x squared plus 3xy minus y. Okay, let's have another example. So, this time we're dead. So, we have subtract 2x squared minus 5xy minus y squared from 5x squared minus 4xy plus y squared. So, therefore, we have operation of subtraction. Take note na 
uh, meron tayong quantity dito. So, gagamit tayo ng parenthesis kasi more than uh, one term yung bawat isusubtract natin sa isa't isa. So, pag sinabi subtract this from this, anong subtrahend? Ito yung subtrahend, yung 2x squared minus 5xy minus y squared. So, therefore, isusulat natin siya after nung minus sign. So, we have 2x squared minus 5xy minus y squared. Okay? And then, yung from dito sa unahan, siya yung minuend. So, we have 5x squared minus 4xy plus y squared. Quantity rin siya, di ba? And then, kailangan maalis yung parenthesis. So, dito sa second part, apply uli natin yung distributive property. Dito sa first part, wala namang operation, wala namang negative dito sa unahan. So, positive lang. So, parang same lang din. Parang pwede natin automatic na tanggalin na yung parenthesis. So, we have 5x squared minus 4xy plus y squared. And dito nga, distributive. So, meron tayong in invisible negative 1 dito sa unahan, di ba? So, we have negative 1 times 2x squared is negative 2x squared. Negative 1 times negative 5xy is positive 5xy. And then, negative 1 times negative y squared is positive y squared. Okay, wala ng parenthesis. So, pwede na natin mag- Pwede na tayong mag-identify ng similar terms. Sa 5x squared, ang similar sa kanya ay itong negative 2x squared. Sa negative 4xy, ang similar sa kanya ay itong positive 5xy. And then itong positive y squared, ang similar sa kanya ay yung positive y squared din. Then combine na natin. 5x squared minus 2x squared is 3x squared. Then, negative 4xy plus 5xy. So, negative 4 plus 5 is positive 1. So, therefore, xy na lang. Then, lastly, positive y squared plus y squared. So, we have 1 plus 1, 2y squared. So, therefore, our final answer is 3x squared plus xy plus 2y squared. Okay, so that is how to combine or add or subtract algebraic expressions. So, sana ay may natutunan kayo sa video na to at maraming salamat sa panonood.